Hey guys, my name is William Sanjay and welcome to Start Tutorial. Today we're gonna take a look at how to create this one. Okay. Inside of new. Oh. No, I mean inside of After Effects. Okay, now we are in After Effects. Before I'm starting the lesson, I'm gonna sh tell you that I'm using the After Effects CC that is Creative Cloud, and then you can use my project file, which is the butterfly, in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna start the After Effects by creating a folder. I call it Composition, and then the footage. So I'm gonna make a comp composition here. I call it main composition. Okay, guys. And then for the footage, I'm just gonna import it. Okay. All right. So here's our footage here. Okay. And then for the butterfly, we need to go to the Adobe Photoshop. And then just click file and then import and then open okay just click the butterfly.png that I've given to you and then just um, press M or you can click rectangular marquee tool here okay and then just um, drag it until in the middle of the body here okay guys and then just click uh, I mean right click and then layer via cut so you can do in both side okay uh, yeah and this uh, all right so we can name it body and then um right wing and then left wing from the right side and we just need to save as okay save as um butterfly call it my butterfly dot psd you need to use the photoshop file i mean okay just click save and then okay and then you can close your photoshop and then in after effect you need to import your uh, photoshop folder okay guys just take the editable poly make sure you check this and just click ok um, you don't need the composition you just need to go to the butterfly layers here okay and then just drag it here to your composition and then you can um, save hold save and then just uh, click left and right wing and then um, you see in the pattern here you need to pattern it to the body by uh, click the left click to your mouse and then just hold it and drag to the body okay and then you can click to the body layer you can um, holding shift and then drag it guys all right so make it smaller and after that you can uh, make some animation but before that you need to um, you know choose all of your layer and then pressing F4 yeah F4 until you find uh, the 3d layer here just click it okay so it's going to be 3d layer and then for the left wing we're gonna make the animation of the wing okay make sure you're in the uh, zero okay the timeline I mean the zero second okay and then uh, on the Y rotation yeah 
you can um, click the uh, word share okay make sure you click this to make the animation and then you just um, drag it until um, minus 80 and then just uh, press the pitch down three times to go to the next frames okay and then just okay choose the plus 15 okay degree so it's gonna be like this and then what we need to do next is just um alt click to the watch make sure you are holding alt okay guys and then um in the expression here you click this and then go to the property and then loop out make sure you choose that and let's see so it's gonna be like this and good uh we do this to the boots put wing you know so it's the same make sure you are in the zero second here okay and then um for the right wing you need to uh, make this plus 80 not minus you know so if you um you know scroll to the minus it will be like this so it's weird you know you need to make it plus 80 and then go to the uh, i mean go uh, with three frames forward one two three and then just uh, make it minus 50 then okay guys and then just holding alt and then click the watch okay property loop out so it's gonna be like this so very beautiful and then if you wanna change the maybe it's too fast you know the, the speed you can just um, press the plus in your keyboard okay and then move it one frame maybe or two frame to make it um slower and after that you can drag your footage make sure uh, you drag it in um the in the bottom of all layer okay and then we can fit to come okay so because it's 720 pixel you need to fit to come and we can just um, simply use this butterfly you just need to control this body okay guys maybe we can I just uh, pressing W to go to the 3d rotation tool maybe we can um, adjust the rotation here okay and then the pot position I'm pressing V okay guys just drag it probably right here and then uh, we need to press P here just click the watch to make the animation and then you can make it uh, as you love it you know so it's up to you, you know, for the animation so I will create my own animation so probably um, it's gonna be right here okay right here and then mm, go to the 10 frames and then um, going here and then you can just the bezier as well the bezier is this okay the box I mean and then for the three second you can make it like this so very beautiful yeah probably 
der. Okay. Yeah, and that's great. Okay, let's take a look. Alright, so the butterfly uh, looks weird, but we can uh, adjust the orientation so the, the butterfly will um, rotate uh, according to the path. By you need to uh, right click to the layer, okay, and then go to the transform and then you see the auto orientation it's actually auto orientation and you can press um, CTRL alt and O as well and then just uh, check the orient along the path okay guys so it's gonna be like this so really beautiful and by the way you can adjust the position as well Maybe if it's um, too large, you know, you can just probably right there, okay, and there to make it smaller. And for the last frame, um, probably you can um, make it. Um, Right there, going right there, or every everything that you wanna adjust by yourself, of course. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it fast for you. So that's great. So after that, um, you can click on the zoom and the zoom here. Okay, zoom out on your timeline and make sure your work area is right here. Okay, you can snap it by holding shift and then just snap to your um indicator here. Okay, so we're gonna take a look here sorry this so that looks amazing okay now after um we're creating our animation we can just you know uh, make some effects so the butterfly will looks the color will looks uh, better you know and the photos too by pre-composing this okay you can uh, choose the butterfly okay by holding shift or ctrl and then choose the right click right click i mean and then click the pre-compose here just name it butterfly okay guys so after that um you can maybe uh, make the adjustment layer here by clicking the layer new adjustment layer okay and then um just add some effects okay by going to the color correction you can choose whatever you want i love creating curve here okay so it's kind of uh, Greenness footage. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Okay, and then for the butterfly, we can um adding some effects. So I I download some effect on the i'm using red giant effect okay call uh, called color matcher here you can use it and then just target layer on the footage so it will looks um it will match the color 
of the butterfly to the footage maybe it is good okay and we can add some magic palette probably mojo so it will look better not much can burn it okay probably we can add some glow to our butterfly too by going to the style I mean stylize and glow here to adding some glow not much I think okay guys so I think 10% is good you, you can just adjust it you know by yourself and so um yeah that's all how to create the your own butterfly okay so i hope you enjoy this tutorial guys um okay i will i will inform you that i will upload the video every week so that you can you can subscribe me for more tutorials okay guys and then if you have any question any difficulty in making motion graphic visual effects post production or anything you know you can ask me okay and thank you very much for watching guys um please share to your friend okay and see ya next week bye